Okay, here is another runecrafting level. Who thought I would get one so soon? Right after the last one. That's crazy. Un honestly, unheard of, even for me. That Sunday night runecrafting, pretty cool. One more level to go for base 80s. I'll definitely be getting 80 runecrafting sometime pretty soon because obviously I've been doing a lot of slayer tasks and uh, yeah, barraging is always in demand, so. Okay, nice, nice. Haven't been to Motherlow in ages to do some mining, but I am back. So now I have 82 mining. So I had some plans this week Actually, maybe not this week, but I have some plans to uh, get my smithing up at some point soon because I want to get that 89 for those rune darts. And Mother Low is something I could do on the side while I uh, AFK and uh, work on other things like editing videos and stuff because I can get some gold ores and coal. And yeah, that's going to help me. But that is something to look into the future to do. The 89 smithing grind is going to be intense, that's for sure. Alright, so this master basically came from the Abyssal Demon task earlier with that elite clue drop, so yeah, let's check it out. Can we get back-to-back -back unique clues, baby? Back-to-back -back unique rewards, let's go. That uh, obviously wasn't going to happen. Kind of decent. Prefer resources than alcohol, so. Cave Horrors, hard clue, check it out. Oh, Bendos Dehai Boots. I don't think I have that. Yeah, I, I definitely don't have this. Yo, that is nice, man. Another unique item. Oh, nice, man. These small uh, Mithril Dragon tests have been serving uh, me well. Just got the uh, Elite Clue from the last one and another Chupum. I'm currently at four. And yeah, I basically burn them every five. So one more to go. Oh, yes. Baby, 120 Dark Beast. Perfect, man. I gotta go edit a video and I also want that dark bow so we're gonna be a thousand uh, dark beast KC after this task is over so I hope I get my first dark bow by then there we go kill the dark beast I mean uh, night beast and I got some totems okay oh yo haven't gotten a marble gargoyle ever on this uh, character so okay should be dead Let's check it out. What we get? Ah, uh, just normal stuff. Okay. Another superior gargoyle, guys. What we get? Death runes and some coins. Seven or eight tasks without any uh, superiors here. And now I'm just getting three of them in one task. Alright, here we go. Third one. Ooh, 127 Dark Beasts. Alright. I am now officially over a thousand Dark Beasts, I believe. Yep, and I still don't have the freaking dark bow, so. What? Oh my god, that didn't just happen. Dragonstone and Longbone drop. Alright, here it is. What do we get from this guy? Wow, seriously? That's it? There we go, second. Dark beast. Superior, four. Okay, alright, death runes. Alright, let's check out this hard clue from an earlier task. Oh my god, what the hell? Another Zami full helm. Oh shit, that's five unique items. Exclusive items and one clue. What the hell, man? I've never seen so many. Wow, man, that's that's just insane. Okay, no items I haven't gone, but that that's just crazy. Okay, first kill back. We got a Mystic Air Staff, okay? I'm gonna try to get 400 KC this week. Nice, 39 for the kill. All right, I'm gonna be wrapping up here. Wow, more food, okay. And unfortunately, nothing interesting this time around. Yo, what's up, man? That's good, I'm glad you got that code. Wow, I didn't even have my recorder on, dude. All right, I'm gonna get my split from that, uh. Arcane scroll. Thank you, Coat. And on the last episode, we got Arcane scroll. I got it, but we actually didn't split because my friend, you know, was lazy and he didn't want to log into his main account. And I was like, all right, whatever. It's no big deal. But since I didn't get that clip, I'll just uh, split it now. So here you know. Whoa, I'm I'm pretty sure it's 40 mil. When we... No, dude, I got it when it was 30 mil. I price checked that video, dude. You trying to scam me, mate? Yeah. 
You trying to scam me, dude? <laughs> nah, nah. First of all, you made me want to keep the money. I'm like, bro, just take the money, you know. Oh my god! Oh yes! Holy shit, dude! We finally got the dark bow. Yes. I just needed to uh, do some FK, you know, to kind of take a break from the game. And I come back to the computer screen with a dark bow. Alright, before anything else, I just want to see how long it took me to get this goddamn thing. Definitely over twice the drop rate. Dark Beast, 1,277. Jesus, closing in on three times the drop rate, goddamn. Well, not too bad, not too bad. So that's basically like my last uh, regular Slayer unique item that I needed to get. So yeah, stuff like the whip and dark bow and all that stuff, I've gotten them all. And yes, this dark bow is going to be so nice. I'm going to be using it mainly at Zora. So I was planning on heading back to Zora like by tomorrow because I really want to stock up on some like Calquad seeds. I do those like every day. Hopefully get this 99 eventually. So, yes, I wanted to make sure I had the dark bow though before I go back and now I do. So, I'm gonna go there like right now. <laughs> I am excited to go ahead and use this. So my Zora setup is a little bit different now and that's with the uh, dark bow. So if you guys don't know, the dark bow spec basically always hits and even if it like defaults a miss, it's a bare minimum of eight, eight damage. So no matter what, the minimum damage is a uh, 16. And this is great because Zora, of course, has different phases, and one of them is pretty tanky, the melee one. So if I can uh, switch on the last hit on the melee phase, or honestly, any phase, before it submerges, then I can land myself a really nice, uh, big hit. And overall, should be able to reduce my average kill times by quite a bit. I'm using rune arrows because I only have a thousand dragon arrows, but I think rune arrows will probably suffice. Oh, oh, nice. 400 XP drop. I wonder how big that hit was. 3936. Oh man, that was crazy. So with the rune arrows, I uh, basically hit a 75 with that one hit. That's crazy, crazy. Go, oh, that's another big one. 320 XP drop. What was that? 2733. Cool. 60 spec with that. Nice. Oh, another big spec right there. All right, which one is this? Thirty-seven, thirty. Nice. So so far, I'm definitely liking the dark bow. I am definitely getting consistent extra damage over than just you know using a blowpipe. So this is really nice to see. Nice. This thing's already dead. What? Oh wait, no, it's a PR, right? Nice! Haha, <laughs> cool, man. Got a, another personal record, just beat the previous one by one second. I'll take that. Man, this thing's so quick to kill. Alright, got some insult heads. Always, oh, so that's good. The superiors are rolling in. Feels good. Alright, let's check what this one gives me. Badoodle! Oh, okay, okay. So I'm 100% certain I've gone uh, past 30 superiors now. It's not too, you know, big number yet, but at this rate, I'm gonna have a nice superior KC soon enough. So I got a big Abyssal Demon task again, and this time I'm gonna try Smoke Bursting and Smoke Barraging. So I've killed uh, 100 Abyssal Demons now with uh, Smoke Burst and a uh, combination of Shadow Burst. And this is the XP rate. It's actually worse than the Ice Burst. And remember, I'm doing five Abyssal Demons at a time. I can't take two rooms, okay? So it's the same exact test as before. And the XP, as you can see, is actually worse than that of Ice Bursting. Ice Bursting, I was getting like 42k. Alright, there we go. So I did a test with about 80 Abyssal Demons with Smoke Barrage. And I am getting... 51,000 so from what I can see smoke barrage definitely better than ice barrage here Yo, I got lead amount of slayer points dude. Oh, that's cool though. I didn't even notice that I Could do half of one before going back to Lumbridge. 
Oh, spare tree seed. That's really good. That's one of the best drops that I can get right now, man. That's will help me towards my 99 farming, which is coming up. But like, yeah, T farm is so inefficient, dude. Oh my god! Oh, what? Wow, dude. That didn't just happen, dude. That that didn't just happen. What the fuck? Okay, all right. There there goes that. I just got my uh my pet. When was the last time, bro? I got a pet, dude. I think my last pet was Cerberus, man. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. It's been so long since I've gotten a pet. Uh huh. It's gonna be 500k. Thank you very much. It's one of those feelings, man. You just don't expect those type of drops, and then it it hits you. It's been a long time since I've gotten my last bossing pet and I went back to my older videos to check exactly like how long. So my last bossing pet before Zora was the Ceradomin pet, the pet Celiana when I was going for the Ceradomin Godsword and the Armadillo Crossbow. And that was in October of 2016 so it's been like half a year if not a little more. So it's definitely really nice to see another bossing pet added to the collection. So now I'm totaled up to four bossing pets. The Kelfite Queen was first, and then Hell Puppy was second, and then Seraphim was third, and finally, the Zora Snakeling is number four. Also, I have a Skeleton pet, which is obviously important to know as well. So I'm gonna be wrapping up today's video here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching as usual, and I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys are new to the series, feel free to subscribe to the channel, that way you know exactly when the next video comes out. And if you enjoyed today's video, which I hope you did, then feel free to give the video a like. I appreciate that. Otherwise, I will see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Take care.